Hello friends, uh, in this lecture we will discuss about some essential characteristics they should be present in a molding sand so that we can uh, do successful castings. Okay, so to start with the first thing uh, we need is that the sand must be able to re resist very high temperature when we pour molten metal in the mold cavity. This property to resist heat without melting or degrading is called the refractoriness of the uh, molding sand. In other words, the sand should be same as it was in room temperature at 100 degree centigrade or at 500 degree centigrade. Okay. Now uh, we can add some uh, amount of iron oxide powder uh, zircon floor to improve this uh, refractoriness property of the sand. After this comes a very important property which is the permeability. Now let us try to understand this property with the help of a simple experiments experiment on the le left hand side we have a sponge material while in the right hand side we have a metallic bar now if we drop a volume of uh, same same volume of liquid in both these metal ma materials what will happen just pause the video for a uh, minute and think about this okay so now let us see the result in the first case the liquid penetrates uh, through the body of the sponge and comes out uh, from the opposite end while uh, in the second case the liquid will flow side sideways instead of penetrating uh, through this uh, metallic bar to understand why sponge was able to allow liquid to flow through it let us examine in its micro microstructure if we zoom a certain portion of this uh, sponge we will find that in between uh, individual particles there are a number of voids or pores this is also called the porosity of that particular sponge sponge material and it is due to this pores the liquid was able to flow through it so permeability is nothing but it is the ability of a substance to allow fluid to flow and pass through it so our molding sand should have uh, should be permeable why because when we pour molten metal inside the cavity lot of hot gases will start to evolve out of the mold now if these gases cannot escape uh, out to the atmosphere this will uh, get trapped inside the mold cavity and our castings will will be defective now if we you use uh, coarse sand grains permeability will be more as you can see there are uh, large number of white spaces but the surface quality of the castings are generally less on the other hand if, if we use very uh, fine sand particles then permeability will, uh, will decrease however the surface finish uh, will be better now if the permeability of this sand is not adequate we have certain defects like we get certain defects like uh, pinholes blow holes etc in the um, final casting these small dots that you are uh, seeing here is because the hot air uh, which was unable to escape out got trapped in the mold cavity next uh, the property is collapsi uh, collapsibility See when uh, molten metal solidifies inside the mold cavity in order to take it out we need to break the sand mold. So ideally we want that the mold should break easily without uh, causing any harm to the uh, metal casting. This is called the collapsibility of, mold, of, of that particular molding, molding sand. Then comes uh, reusability. After we break sand molds the same sand is used again for making another mold. That is we do not discard or throw away the sand after single use so reusability means the sand uh, should not get damaged after one or two castings instead it should be it should uh, have the ability to be used uh, for multiple times okay after this comes uh, the uh, one more important property that is the flowability flowability is nothing but uh, it um, it is another property which ensures that the molding sand uh, flows freely to fill in intricate portions of the pattern and also at different corners of the flask. Now flowability is, is a function of moisture content of the sand. Okay. And finally the mold should have uh, good, good strength and sh should not break during the metal casting operation. To form a cohesive uh, effect among um, uh, individual sand particles, clay binders and some additives are used to bind these uh, sand grains. Now, if we dry this uh, green sand mold in an oven for 8 to 3 hours in between uh, 50, 150 to 300 degrees centigrade, we get a dry sand mold. 
they have higher strength and are used for uh, medium to large size castings now one point to be noted here is that while making the mold first uh, um, uh, first before pouring the mold, um, actual molding sand uh, some facing sand is uh, applied to next to the pattern uh, facing sand like uh, sea coal or coal dust is usually used what happens is that this helps in uh, getting a good surface finish and helps in preventing molten uh, molten metal to fuse with the sand particles okay so this was all about uh, the different properties of molding sand uh, to um, stay updated with uh, more videos please subscribe this channel thank you